I'm getting the same question a lot. How am I running my studio with my iPad? Today, I'm gonna to show you everything you need in order to run your studio with your iPad. Let's get started. But first, let's get this cleaned up. So here's what I'm gonna cover inside this video. Number one is the quick and dirty method. Super easy to get started, but it takes a ton of clicks each time. And also the viewing experience is not very good for the person you're showing it to. The second one is the pro method. It's a little bit more setup time, but you get clean HDMI. That means that you don't show anything that you don't want your audience to actually see. The third one is expert mode, clean HDMI plus charging at the same time. So your iPad never goes dead while you're going through it. And number four, there's just a few little demonstrations to show how it works. That's all the way at the end and it makes it really practical. So let's jump into it. Usually, if you want to show what's on your iPad to someone in a Zoom meeting, then what do we do? The default would be to take the cable that came with your iPad and hook those up together. Let's see how that goes. This is the cable that came with the iPad, right? This is the Apple certified one. It's hooked up to a MacBook Air. It's iPad Pro. I'm going to hit screen share, iPhone, iPad via cable, share. It says connect. It is connected. I'm going to disconnect, reconnect. Nothing is coming up asking to select trust. We weren't making any progress with these official Apple cables. So I went and got Thunderbolt three cables. These are the highest end ones that I've got. I plug one end into the iPad, the other to the laptop. And we finally get this trust accessory to connect. I click yes. And over here I hit trust. Then I do my passcode. I hit screen share iPhone, iPad via cable, hit share allow accessory to connect. I hit yes. Now I'm seeing the screen. So it's finally working, but it took a lot of clicks. The good news is, is that it's just coming from one cable. So let's do that one more time. I'm going to stop the share. I'm going to hit share screen, iPhone, iPad cable, share. It should come up automatically and it's not too bad. So I brought up a PDF here. I'm marking this up. I could zoom in. It's going quite well, but here's the problem. These tools and these thumbnails here are only for me to see, but on the Zoom call, everybody else sees them too, and it's just not as good an experience. So if you want what's on your iPad to display to your Zoom meetings and your recordings and have all the pro features, I'll show you how to hook that up. You're going to need three basic things. The first is a video capture device like this Camlink 4K, which I use. The next cable you need is a USB-C to HDMI cable. This is where a lot of people mess up. There's a lot of cables that look like this, but they're the wrong ones. Make sure you use my links to get the correct one. And last, you're going to need some kind of converter where there's USB-A female to USB-C male. Make sure you get the right one because if it's a charging only type, it will not work. So let's hook this thing up in order. First, let's plug this in into the iPad. On the other end of this cable is this HDMI port. We're going to plug that into the cam link. Here's the last piece of the puzzle that allows us to plug it into the laptop. And once we slide this in, that light should come on. Now that we've changed how it's all hooked up in the Zoom call, you're just going to click next to that little icon there and then click on cam link 4K. Now what you see is here. Now it still looks the same, but once we hit play, you're going to see that this is a very different experience. You get your notes, you get your previews and everybody else just sees what you want them to see exactly how it should be. So you can even come on here and you can do a lot of drawing. And again, none of the other notes are there. Here's another example. On my iPad, I can see my thumbnails. I could see my tools, but you see this blue outline here. That is what the audience sees because I've got it hooked up differently. And when I zoom in, I could still use all my tools and switch around and the audience will never see those tools. They'll only see what I want them to see. We just solved the problem of getting a better viewing experience for yourself and your viewers. But if you want this to be hooked up permanently, then your iPad is going to be draining real fast. I'm going to show you how to hook this up so that you can be charging at the same time that you've got all this hooked up. The first thing we need is the cam link 4K. The second thing we need is a USB A to USB C converter. But if you get a charging one or the wrong type, then it just won't work. The next thing is a multi converter like this. You have USB C on this side and then you've got USB A, HDMI and USB C. This is not the one from Apple. The one from Apple does not work the way that we need it to in this video. So make sure you check out my links. We're also going to need an HDMI to HDMI cable. The last thing we need is a USB charging source. 
Now this just plugs into the wall and it should be enough power to charge your iPad because that's what's gonna be happening. So let's start hooking everything up from left to right. Here's our first component. We're gonna plug that into the iPad. Step two, take the power source and plug that into this multi-adapter. Step three, take the HDMI cable and plug one end into this multi-adapter. Step four, take the other end of this cable and plug it into the cam link. Step five is plug in this adapter from USB-A to USB-C. And finally, plug this into the laptop. Now that everything is hooked up properly, you can see that we have it charging and we have the pro display. You can see your notes, you can see all these tools, but the person on the other end only sees what you want them to see. So that's how you get it all set up. So now we got it all hooked up, I'll show you how to run this, okay? So you're on your Zoom call, you click that little button down there, and then you switch camera on the on the, the pop-up menu, and now you're looking through the main camera, and then you could switch back again. So that's how you do it. But some people would complain, not me, some people would complain that that's even too much, so what if you could just push a button to make it switch like that? And that's what we're gonna cover next, so make sure you subscribe. Hey, thank you for watching all the way to the end. I hope that you found at least one thing that you can implement right away to upgrade your home studio setup and the way that you show up for the rest of the world. As always, check out the links down below in the description. Those links are gonna be the exact equipment that I actually use in this video. Also, make sure you hit subscribe because there will be more videos like this coming along and you're not gonna wanna miss it. I'll see you in the next one.